Good morning children. In today's class we are going to revise interdependence of living beings, plants and animals. Before I start with today's les lesson, I want you all to understand the meaning of word interdependence. Yes, now children tell me what you can see on the screen. You can see incomplete picture of lion. Yes, so what we need to complete this picture? Missing parts of the body. We need missing parts of the body to complete this picture. Is this is enough for this? No. We have to fix these missing parts at the right place to complete this picture. When the parts are fixed at the right place, then you can see a complete lion. Yes, children. This means if any part of the body is missing, then body will be incomplete. Okay, if any part of the body is missing, then anybody's body will be incomplete. So, what we need? We need all the body parts at the right place to form a complete body. Okay, so here we can say all the body parts are dependent on each other to form a complete body. Whether it's our body, whether it's animal's body, whether it's a plant. We need complete parts of the body to complete the image or to complete the figure. Okay, this dependency, this dependency on each other is called interdependence. In the same way children, to form a balanced nature, all the plants and animals are dependent on each other. To make it more clear, just assume nature as one body. Then plants and animals are different parts of nature's body. Nature is complete or balanced with plants and animals. Now let's see how plants and animals are dependent on each other. Let's talk about interdependence of plants and animals. Children, do you know our nature is made up of living and non-living things? Both man, plants, animals and microorganisms form the living part of the nature. And soil, rocks, minerals, light, water form the non-living part of the nature. And we all are dependent on each other for our survival. Here we will talk about animals and plants. How plants are dependent on animals and how animals are dependent on plants. Now children tell me what is this? This is the main source of energy in the nature. Yes, this is the main source of energy in the nature. We call it sun. What we call it? We call it sun. And what is this? Plant. I know, you must be thinking, ma'am, this is a tree. But children, in science, when we say plants, trees comes in plants category only. In science, tree, trees come in plants category only. As we know, Plants also have life, but these plants are different from living being. Why they are different? They are different as they can make their own food. They can prepare their own food. How? Let's see. Plants need energy and that energy they get from sunlight and from soil they get water. From soil what they get? They get water. From where they get water? They get water from soil and energy from sunlight and carbon dioxide from animals. Yes, children, in science when we say animals, human comes in animals category only. Okay, in science, humans are sophisticated animals. Okay, now let's see 
how animals give carbon dioxide to plants during the process of breeding animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide what animals breathe out during the process of breathing carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide is used by plants for making food so children with the help of sunlight water and carbon dioxide plants make their food in green pigments that that is known as chlorophyll present in leaf so basically green leaf is the kitchen where plants prepare their food where plants make their food and this complete process of making food is known as photosynthesis this complete process of making food is known as photosynthesis okay now i believe you got it how plants are dependent on animals they are dependent on animals as they get carbon dioxide from animals to prepare their food this is all about plants do you know children as plant can make their own food they don't need anybody's help for preparing food they produce their food themselves that is why they we call them that is why they are called producers that is why they call producers why producers because plants produce their food themselves so this is all about plants now let's talk about animals okay children it's a reminder when we say animals in terms of science humans are included there okay now we will say how animals are how animals are dependent on plants now we will see how animals are dependent on plants during the process of photosynthesis during the process of photosynthesis plants gives out oxygen which is needed by animals for their survival other than oxygen plants provide food to animals for their survival okay in plants energy is stored in the form of starch which is used by animals okay children children can you imagine life without plants big no animals are completely dependent on plants for oxygen and food both so children this is how plants and animals are dependent on each other okay and this dependency is called interdependence of plants and animals this dependency is called interdependence of plants and animals basically we can say we get animals get energy from plants as animals are dependent on plants for food they are called consumers because animals cannot make their food themselves they take energy stored in plants for food so they consume consume means they eat and drink so they consume food from plants that is why they are dependent on plants for food so we call them consumers this is all about how plants are dependent on animals and animals are dependent on plants i believe this complete circle is clear to you all okay plants are dependent on animals for carbon dioxide yes which is important and essential for 
making food by plants and animals are dependent on plants because they get oxygen and food for their survival this is clear children energy in the nature is never destroyed it is only transferred from one living thing to another to make this point clear let's take one example what is this the sun the main source of energy in the nature sun is the main source of energy in the nature from sun who takes energy directly plants from sun plants take energy directly and energy in plants stored in form of starch okay children and this energy is transferred to animals how the energy is transferred to animals because animals are dependent on plants for their food and when they eat plants they are taking energy from plant yes so sun is the main source sun has given energy to plant and plant has given to animal and when animals die when animals die the it decompose and mix with soil but children remember one thing in animals body there is energy which is taken from plant which is taken or we can say it is which is transferred from plants in animals body okay and that energy is still there when animal when that animals body is turned into dead body okay that means that energy is still there and when it decompose that energy mix with soil and decompose body and soil together forms humus so basically what is humus humus is a decomposed matter of dead body and soil that contains lot of nutrients and energy which is again used by plants so can you see this circle and this circle goes on like this yes children now i believe that interdependence of plants and animals is clear to you all thank you stay